Hi, welcome to a beautiful sunny autumnal day in Chesterfield. The forecast for the next week has given the temperatures to drop down to close to zero with a 6% chance of snow at the end of the week. So to start things off what I'm going to do is to help myself and also anybody else that's interested and put the data logger on the air source heat pump on the main pond. That's currently set at 17 degrees and I'm going to monitor what sort of electricity use is used while the temperatures drop and maybe when it's snowing. With the pending cold weather coming and the potential of frost what I'm going to do is get the insulation sheets out and cut a couple of panels to fit in the window so I can put them on at night at least and then during the day if the temperatures start to warm up I can take them off, the fish can see, they can get some light in and I can see the fish. We'll also have a look at a few other projects that I've got lined up and see where we can go with those. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, please hit the subscribe button down in the bottom corner and check out some more videos. If you've got any questions about anything in this video, please write them in the comments below. If you want to know any information regarding the pond equipment, the pond setup or anything like that, if you check in the description below, there's a list of every single thing that I use in this pond and the two grow-on tanks. Like I say, sit back and enjoy the video and if you do like it, hit the like button. I'm not 100% sure you can see that, but I've got two sheets, two 8 by 4 sheets of Kingspan thermal uh, boarding. They're 25mm thick, so I'm going to use two of them. I'm going to put a handle on the sides as well to help them come out and hopefully that will make it an easy fit for the uh, window. So what I'm looking to do is just cut it and shape it for the gap in the window. finished product looks like in position. That's an easy job now. So in the morning, if it's going to be sunny like today, just pull it out, let the fish have a look, check on the fish, and then when the temperature drops at night, or we have a cold spot in the day and the snow, we can put the cover in. You don't have to do it like I've done it, but that's uh, cheap and cheerful. 50mm insulation on the window. 32mm 5 ply polycarb on the top, 9 inch of concrete block and 25mm king span around the sides and all the pipe work is lagged. The only thing exposed is the backy shower. Do I put some bubble wrap around it or do I just leave it? Let me know in the description what you think. Marek and anybody else that's running this uh, mind your own business in the backy shower through the winter, let me know what you've done. The one on the grow on tank seems to have really taken on and grown really well it'll give it a minimal 
amount of insulation on the backy shower. But I imagine when the frost starts coming more often, some of it may die off. But we'll keep an eye on that one. So what we're going to do, I've still got the uh, probes, whatever they're called, leads, around the live feed for the heater. What we're going to do is plug this into the mains and then couple up our one, two and three into here and I'll try and do it one handed. So L3 So that's the lead set up. I'm just going to push this. Oops, sorry. A bit difficult working one handed. So what I'm going to do is put this on here. So that's all ready to start. And it says there uh, we've got a file. It's 20th to the 11th, it's 1440, which is not the exact time to be honest. I think the exact time, I can't tell. Yeah, it is actually, it's 1441. So what I'm going to do is press and hold that. It says five, four, three, two, one, boom. And that is now logging, and that will log for seven days exactly, hopefully, if I have to remember to take it off at the right time. So that's that login, and what it's login is L1, as you can see there, and the live feed for the heater. I've just noticed as I'm mean, potting around in the shed that the logger is starting to kick in, or I should say the heater's kicking in, and that's on a powerful heating mode at the moment, and it's only pulling one amp. That's basically it's not coming on full pelt to heat it up quickly, and it's just trickle feeding the power to the heater to heat up uh, slowly. It's now going up to two amps. You know, it's, it's slowly crept up to 2.7 amps. That's giving the heat that it needs, and then it'll just uh, cut off as quickly as it started. Here's one of the next projects, either just before or just after Christmas, I'm not sure yet. But we're going to upgrade from the Pond Expert Spring Clean Auto 20,000 to a Pond Expert Spring Clean 30,000. The main reason for that is I want to increase the flow rate of the water through there, so I'm converting everything to 2 inch pipe to try and increase the flow over the backy shower. So that's on one of the upcoming videos, so keep your eyes peeled for that one. Thanks for watching the video this long. Last night I put the covers on the window and last night we had the real proper frost of uh, this season and at the moment it's still only about five degrees it's coming up for dinner time the temperature up down to zero degrees so we had a ground frost everywhere it took a while to uh, defrost the car this morning before setting off to set the youngster to school but as you can see the cover seems to have done a wonderful job the pond still sat at 17 degrees and when i looked this morning the heater wasn't running so it seems to have kept a bit of heat into the pond if not a lot of heat into the pond but either way, it's insulated the windows, so it should have given some benefit to the heating of the pond. 
Thanks a lot for watching the video and like I say if you're not already subscribed please hit the subscribe button check out some more videos. If you enjoyed this video hit the like button and if you've got any questions regarding anything in the video at all please write them in the comments below. If anybody's got any questions to ask or any ideas to for a video through the winter or in the early spring please again drop them in the comments below and let me know. From a beautiful fresh morning in Chesterfield happy ponding.